when COVID hits 10 years later, and the same agencies that knew that are the agencies that shut down the schools for two years. Who does that? Who takes away the support system for these children? Who takes them away and shuts it down? And by the way, when they shut it down, they stopped the mandated reporters from being able to see children that were being abused and sexually molested, and in fact sent them home and abandoned them to their abusers with no way to watch, and referrals dropped 50 to 60%. So, there was also a yeah. pandemic yeah, going was, on. They were trying to save kids' lives. They were trying to save, trying to save kids' well. lives. Remember, we know a lot of folks who died during this. So it wasn't, people weren't laying Not around eating bond, but well, you know what? We're lucky. Maybe we're lucky they didn't because we kept them out of the, the, the places that they could be, be sick because no one wanted to believe we had an issue. Are you saying no school children died of COVID? I'm saying it was the safest group. They were the less vulnerable group and they suffered and will suffer more from the mismanagement of COVID than they will from the exposure to COVID. And that's not an opinion. That's a fact. Dr. Phil criticizes the management of COVID-19, focusing on the impact of school closures on children. This critique opens discussions on various perspectives regarding the pandemic response. It questions whether the response has been disproportionate, particularly harming students. Explores the psychological and emotional toll on students due to lack of non-face-to-face -face education and support systems. It raises concerns about the well-being of children overall. Furthermore, it examines how limitations on reporting obligations during the pandemic may have unintended consequences, such as a potential increase in child abuse cases. Suggests that closing schools was an extreme measure with possible alternative management strategies. It encourages reflection on the failures in COVID-19 management especially regarding how children and other vulnerable groups coped with the breakdown of support systems and uncertainties caused by the pandemic. 